Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing From the Darkness. This is a new $7 horror game on Steam, and it's actually the full premium version of one that I played a month or two ago called Wrong Floor. It was developed by N4BA, and I'm eager to check it out. I've heard good things, but uh, I will say that having the options on the main menu like this looks kind of weird. Let's go ahead and, uh, wait, do I hit play or new game? I'll hit play. Alright, I guess it's the same thing as New Game, huh? Alright! New Horror. We're on the first floor, I guess we just got home. Objective, get into the 64th apartment of the deceased grandfather. Okay. Of the deceased grandfather. Alright! How could I forget the deceased grandfather? So, 64, as you can see, the mailbox is full. Somebody hasn't been checking their mail. Meanwhile, literally everyone else has been responsible. Apartment 64, do I already have a key? Or are we just busting in there? Wait, what is this? This is literally just like a weird corner of the stairwell. Uh, seems like a great place to get jumped. Random chair in the stairwell. Imagine sitting here. What a weirdo. I like how in this apartment building, there's exactly like three apartments per floor. It's an extremely vertical building. Uh, all right, 64, 63. Oh, oh God, it just opens. No, please. Um, let's take a look at this. Dear neighbor, if you don't stop making noise at night, we will call the police. Oh, we do have a key. Great. Hey, is there a... The, this apartment has long been abandoned. Yeah, what tipped you off? Let's take this key that's conveniently sitting right by the entrance. There's no electricity, so we can't turn on a light. Is there an inventory? No? Is there, like, anything else? The apartment has long been abandoned. I don't know, I guess we... Here, wait. Oh, the key is to... The, like, fuse box, or... Hello? Objective, pick up the family album and leave. Who am I? <laughs> Am I a loan shark? What's going on here? This feels very strange. Why would we need the family album? Seriously, are we a stalker? Hey, look. There's the, uh, old grandfather, I guess. There's like some soft acoustic guitar music in the background, but I cannot hear it because there's so much overwhelming, like, synth ambiance. There's like, there's like three soundtracks going on at once. It said too dark here. Is there... I literally just turned it back on. And let me... Yeah, I... Okay, let's try it again, I guess. Great, okay, are there two? There are two! I see. So, since a, an elderly man lived here, of course he only has ancient photographs. There's no photograph in here that wasn't taken after 1936. What was that? Oh, it opened up in here, nice. Who did that? Missing part. Could you be more specific? Missing part, okay. I guess I'll take the key. Yo, what's up? Ooh, do you see that? There's some eyes right there. Too dark. <laughs> okay, yeah. I definitely want to see what's in there. Oh, I, I unlocked this? There's a gnat in here. Get out of my face. I'm trying to work right now. Bloody screwdriver. Oh, okay. Um, so is, is this the missing part? You mean... The light switch? Oh, oh no, do you see it? <gasps> Something's up. Also, the, 
the like lights came off again. Excuse me. Didn't they? Like over there they did. Um We good? Oh now the picture's normal. So are there any like modern photos in this family album or <laughs> Every indie horror game. Look in the fridge. You just have to wonder how do these people even eat? There's nothing in there. Okay, none of these open. So I guess the kitchen's completely useless for us. We gotta walk back towards the scary breathing man. Oh! Say, where's that family album I was told to retrieve? Is it that? It's a scary red and black thing that I can't read. Ironing board in the theater room. Odd choice. I gotta say, all around, the decor, a little bit questionable. I don't really know what kind of theme they're going for. Can I do something for you? <laughs> Get a hobby, man. Okay, let me fix the light switch. Maybe that'll make him go away. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest, that got me. Oh my god! We got- we have a little... Here's the part where everybody in the comments is like, huh. <laughs> he spent the entire video mocking the game. But then he was humbled. When the game actually scared him. Uh, okay, why would anyone ever own this doll? Look at this. God. Truth. Gorbachev is ousted in an apparent coup by Soviet armed forces. There's a lot of, like, Russian stuff in here. I saw that that album earlier was in Russian. I'm not sure what that is all about. If it's part of the story, or if they're just, like, placeholders. I'm thinking they're probably placeholders. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I, you know what? I didn't even notice that this said get out and it's got like dead roaches in it. <laughs> this, <laughs> the cardboard box titled albums. Uh, these are not albums. Wait a second. Either that was... Hey, at least it's in tune. That's pretty impressive. Hey, are you still in here? You no lifer? Can you kill me? No, it's too dark. It's too dark for you to kill me. Um, so wait. What's the objective now? Get out. Okay, so like let's let's try it. Let's get out. Something tells me. <gasps> oh no! We Bro, we can't get out anymore. No, oh, we can't get out anymore. I'm sorry, are you knocking on this door? Oh, this is another apartment? Wow. Okay, um... Is something on the TV? Oh no, flashing red images, y'all! If they're red... That means they're automatically pretty spooky. What's that right there? Hey! <laughs> That's where that standing breathing dude is. He's got a GoPro. Uh, okay. Yeah, he set, he set up, uh, he set up, like, Chromecast or something, and he's live streaming to the living room TV. Do you want me to take this? Objective, get out. Okay. So, look, see, look, they took a picture as soon as I came out of the elevator, or... Oh, the eyes are gone. How's that possible? Wait, can I look at that photo album? There was like a weird photo in there. Whoa, really? Whoa! Okay, that was pretty good. There's like a weird photo there of like just some dude coming out of the elevator. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. Hello. Oh, <laughs> my character gets scared even coming up to the door. Why does this door have a peephole? It's not a separate apartment. Okay. Wait, is this... 
What, it like opened on its own? Is that your phone? Stop turning the lights out, dude. My God. Wait, wait, is it the doorbell? Hello? Oh my God, it's a wall of flesh. It's like a wall of intestines. Stop turning that off. Okay. Let me see if something's in here. Curious. It says closed right here. It means locked. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna like close the door then. You having lunch? Huh? Why do you keep uh, keep opening and closing the door? You're a messy eater, huh? Spaghetti sauce everywhere. What am I doing? Oh, there! Oh, look, he's hunched over and eating, so that makes it sinister. That means he's probably like eating somebody, you know? It's turning all red. Is he gonna turn around and look at me? Okay. Uh, let's try to leave again. <laughs> oh, the intestinal lining is still there. My bad. Okay. Well, let's uh. Close that. Stop! You having a rave in here? Stop! Stop that. No? I'll turn it off! It's a school night, young man. Oh, the- wait, the doll's looking at me now. It didn't do that before. Ooh, you're a creepy little thing, aren't ya? Okay, well, um... The only thing I can see to work on is this thing, and... Oh, stop. Oh my god, it takes forever to, like, zoom in on it. <laughs> okay, now we're totally zoomed in. Now, how do you adjust it? Sometimes I'll just hit the wrong key and it'll zoom back out. Do you know anything about this? Okay. I'm gonna take that as a no. Okay, I'm gonna try to open this again. It's the radio. <laughs> Stop saving! Okay. Dude, do you want me to come in there or not? All right, Andre the Giant, what'd you crush the light bulb for? Uh, what? Every light bulb around here is breaking. Is that the, uh, was that the oven? Um... Oh my gosh. Yeah, look. Need help? I can get you out of there. Oh look, finally something. Oh, these are for the lock. I'll take it. Also, is that like, what? Human lasagna? Looks like there's like an e there's like an ear! And a finger! Man, why not just have a pizza? <laughs> you saying you don't like pizza? What's wrong with that? Okay, uh, let me go back and um... Oh, hey, look. That light bulb better not bust as soon as I come up. Wouldn't want to miss out on the bathtub of blood, apparently. If I just close this, that seems good. I mean, I'm stuck in here with you, but I think it's better than ham hands over there. You can hide under the bed. Why would I want to do that? Let me try, I guess. Oh, hey, 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 check it out. 
I see. Okay. That's one of the that's one of the symbols. So wait, is he actively like looking for me or Oh, look. What the hell? Am I supposed to be hiding from that thing? No, it's just a random event. Okay. Well, that's definitely one of them. Let's plug that in. And it was green. So is it that? Yeah. Okay. What now? The question is, will it save that? Oh, look. No, 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 no. Purple is that thing. Um, okay. Is it that one? Okay, good. So we got two of them. I just need the red and yellow ones next. But actually, let's turn off the light. Ah, red this thing. That's it. Okay, and then this one, I mean, it could be any of them. Let's just cycle through. Yeah. We didn't even need the yellow one. So what, what's in there? Oh, you gonna give me like a Silent Hill flashlight? F, turn on the flashlight. Oh, look. <laughs> Need to get some sleep, man. Either that or lay off the weed. Okay. You guys are bloodshot. I finally get to see what's in here. Oh my god, that was here the whole time? This is the bathroom? Man, what a way to go. Ew. Okay, let me see the blade bathtub. No, not yet. Okay. So, in this house, they're like cooking human lasagna. They've got like a, an entire intestinal tract lining the entrance. And then they got a bathtub full of blood. I hate to say it, man, but... Uh, and this is your room? F. Could stand for forte. It's a musical term. Okay, well. Oh, I can't leave yet. I gotta do that thing that sometimes they do in indie horror games where you just have to wait for the door to become unlocked. You have to turn your flashlight off. Here! Here? Total darkness, voice. I buried him in concrete. Now I hear sounds from the dark. In total darkness, go to the voice. Go to the voice? Oh, it's open now. Ah, okay. Nice. All right, um, so like, okay, wait. Is the stomach still there? Or the flesh or what? Oh my God, the flesh is still here. He doesn't like light. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for telling me that. There's, uh, hang on. There's like blood coming from up here. It says closed. Okay, so that's locked too. All right. Um Is this open? No. Nope. You really can interact with very few things. This room stinks of a corpse. All right. Well, let's uh I guess let's find it. I don't know. Hmm. If you turn it off, if you turn the light off... It says he doesn't like light. But then you can hear stuff with the light off. What? Hear? What, it's like right outside all of a sudden? Oh, oh, I opened this. 
Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Finger plus eyeball plus teeth equals key. And of course, there's a roach right next to us. Okay, I will look. I, I know where to get a couple of those, actually. I think I know. I think I may know where to get all all three of those. Okay. Well, let's start here because I do remember seeing a finger right here. Finger and there's an ear. Are you sure you don't want an ear, dude? Oh, oh, look, she's red now. Sometimes I feel like a broken record saying red means scary in every video, but it's just funny how often things turn red. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Silent Hill 4, the room, anybody? Hey, you got any teeth? Yeah, of course you do. Ah. Can you please? Okay, so I got I got to pull the teeth out. By the way, I, I I need to get the eyeballs in there. Oh look, it's spooky now. <laughs> okay, wait, where did I see? Where did I see the pliers? Oh, it's in here. It's right here. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess I'll pull out the teeth then. Now hold still. I'm your dentist. Cool, we got the teeth. Now the thing is, gotta get in here to get the eyeball, pretty sure. What? Apparently they thought this picture was so scary, they decided to plaster it again on the flesh wall. Oh, wait. The picture's gone? Does that mean anything? The picture's gone here, too. Chair's gone. Um... Can I go out here? Follow the floor? Oh my god, okay. That was annoying. It kind of seemed like you weren't supposed to do that. Okay, open this up. Right? No? Okay, this key could go up here too, or it could go in there. Simmer down over there. Oh, here we go. Got it. Bolt cutters. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> he was very interested in seeing what I was doing. <sighs> what? Or are you in here? This is where I was going anyway. Thanks. Is that coming from you, all that racket? Give me your eyeballs. I want both of them. Why stop at just one? Okay, so I got all three of them. So now I get a key that opens up that thing. That seems to be like the last thing that you do, right? Why are you- wait! Why did you put the finger ball into the eyeball? What are you doing? Did you see that? He is stronger in the dark. When you light up all the rooms, it will get weaker and you can get out. This is the key to the box under the ceiling. So many questions. Uh, who wrote this note? <laughs> Number one. Number two, did you get out? Number three, don't you think if you would have written this note, maybe you could have written a note that would have been like a warning as soon as you walk in? Like, hey, don't come in here, please. There's a killer. By the way, come back with, like, five flashlights. Yeah, whatever. Nothing to set fire to the candle. What are you talking about? I gotta get a lighter? What's happening right now? So those are candles. Nothing to set fire 
to the candles. Okay. So am I looking for- have I seen any kind of lighter? If I have, I don't remember it. It's red in there. Check it out. Uh... Okay. Well, like... Oh, the power's on. So I guess that doesn't matter? Wait, what? Uh -huh. We're back in the apartments. There's fleshy walls everywhere. Even in the elevator. Well, what's this? Hey, look. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm scary because I don't have any eyes, and I have an axe, and I have my shirt off, and tons of cuts. I'm just kind of grossed out by you, to be honest. Wait, am I in a loop? Don't do this to me. Uh, you need to listen! Indie horror game text directly onto wall trope. Please never die. Try again. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? You need to listen, try again. Wait, am I trying again right now? I don't think that's what it meant. What am I listening for? I'm just gonna go down? Okay. Try again, you need to listen. <laughs> I feel like an idiot right now. I think it's unfair, by the way, to have red light pouring in like that, and then you try to open the red light pouring in door, and it just automatically takes you to a different door. I think that's kind of screwed up. See, like, if I try to open this, then all of a sudden it's gonna become a different door. It's stupid. Do I open the door that doesn't have any threatening sounds behind it? Is that the idea? It looks like it. Okay, so if I hear anything behind, then I don't open that door. Right? Do I go in here? Well, but there's only one way to go, and it's, and it's this. So I'm just gonna go through it, I guess. What? No. Okay, I got back to where I was. So if you hear something behind the door, you don't go through it. That's the idea. Do I go like back? That is the type of thing that they would do though. Yeah, you go back, wow. So we don't go back that time. Let's walk through all the arms. Okay, there's somebody in there, so we'll go down. I really don't like puzzles like this, by the way. I really don't. Um, wait, we can't go down. If sounds are heard outside the door, it is better not to go there. Thank you, you did not tell me... You did not need to tell me that. Oh, you can go up. Oh, you can go up. That makes a lot more sense. Wow. Now 
I just gotta listen. Okay, we don't go in there. I'm... I, I feel like... If you have a puzzle in a horror game that necessitates not one, but two hints... One every time you fail at it, and then another tooltip that just randomly appears if you've been taking too long... I think maybe the puzzle needs to be rethought. Like, are we still playing the game? I guess. That's just like the end of the map right there. Am I supposed to be out here right now? No, because there's invisible walls. Well then why am I out here? Okay, I guess we go back inside. So then, do I go in here? Like, am I still playing the game? No, here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How you doing, buddy? Hi. You good? Um... He doesn't like the light, huh? I'm gonna take that. Damn, that took like eight attempts. Crappy lighter. So now do I have to go back up? It's so loud. <laughs> in my headphones. It's probably gonna be softer in the video, cause, you know, I do audio checks and that kind of thing. Make a lot of adjustments, but it's very loud in my headphones. Um, it's so like, what, am I going back the way that I came? Try again? <laughs> Get a life, dude. Find something else to do with your time that's more productive. Oh, well now I hear stuff over there. What's... What's the big idea? Okay. Bro, all of the doors have sounds behind them. Except here. Oh, now I can't go out here anymore. Oh, give me a break. Can I just come in here with you? Hi. Um, you want your lighter back? Okay. Um, uh, well, this is kind of an awkward elevator ride, isn't it? <sighs> what floor, by the way? This is, my, this is where I get off. All right, all right, bye. See ya. Do I go in there? Oh wait, no, I go back in here. I gotta light the candles. Objective, to light up the lights in all the rooms. You already have a candle. Okay, well, well where am I putting it? Is there like a spot for... Is there like a spot for the candle, or... Let's start here, I guess. Hey, is that me? Dead? On the ground? Weird. Oh. I see. He automatically places them. Well, wait, where'd my candle go? Wait, where'd my flashlight go? <laughs> What's happening?
Everything's red. My flashlight and my lighter both don't work. Do I just, do I try to leave? Try to leave maybe? Nothing is happening. Oh, I see. Hi. Oh, you just wanted me to see that, and now I can keep going. Uh, huh. Gotta make sure I saw that. Okay, are, are we saving my progress with the candles? Thank you. <sighs> oh, look! The human meat lasagna has been baked now. <laughs> or is that concrete? It could be concrete, I guess. I did it. Okay. Don't! Were you gonna make me look at you at the window again? Gotta pad the game somehow, I guess. <sighs> well, which one- which window are you in? Is it- is it I gotta find which window you're in? Look in the mirror? Do I get under the bed? Do I try to... Hello? You're the dead person from the toilet. Okay. Oh, lots of people now. Hi guys. Oh no. Don't do that. Okay, can we move on now? How many of the five candles left? Ugh. Okay, we did that one. Um Can I put one in here? No, no, I can't. Okay. Here? Are you are you blowing out my candles? Oh. Now we're good. You don't actually die in this game. All right, uh, fucking f f stop blowing out my candles. <laughs> no, you you blew them all out, asshole. Okay, let's get another one now. They're like, I can't but notice that there's three. All right. What? Dude, if you think for a second I'm gonna be distracted by ambient sound, you got another thing coming. That one doesn't open. Um No. Can I can I put one in here? No. Can I put one Ugh. in the hallway? No. Okay. Uh, right. Thank you. So... Uh, what? That's precariously placed. Okay, this has gotta be the last one, right? So what are we like, exercising the apartment or something? What? Oh, okay. I just didn't like that one. Okay, yeah, now this one, asshole. Right on the, right on the chair. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You weird looking dude. Go to the dentist. Alright. Oh, bye. Haha. -ha. Time to leave, I guess.
It's just that easy. Okay. So, do I just go now? Huh. That's a little weird, isn't it? That's in Russian. I can't read it. Um, okay. So, let's just go. Are we allowed to escape? I mean, come on. We should be allowed to escape, right? Yeah, here's the exit right here. What? Wait, what? No! We didn't escape after all. Either that or we weren't supposed to see all that. I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> really lost me at the end there. Well, that was uh, from the darkness. Oddly enough, I think wrong floor, the free version, is a much better game. <laughs> was wrong floor free? Hang on, let me check. Yeah, I just checked. Wrong floor was free. Um, I think that was better than this game. Uh, I really don't like the thing that they do in indie horror games where you basically just have to like wait for the scare to be over. And that happened a lot towards the end with the candle lighting. Um, this is one of those games in which there's no actual danger. There's no fail state. And I cannot tell you how much it like drains the enthusiasm out of me when I realize that I can't die and that there's no punishment at all for anything. Uh, it, it, it basically just turns the game into you walking around until the game ends. <laughs> and that really just, like, I, I cannot emphasize enough how much that just sucks all the enthusiasm out of me. Uh, I mean, I like some things about it. I think the atmosphere, while a bit heavy, uh, a bit a bit much it works and it's good um, I like the bad guy um, I think I much prefer the scenario from the original free game wrong floor and uh, I understand what's going on in this one much less uh, I don't really understand going to your your the grandfather's apartment to get a photo album and then all this stuff happens it makes way more sense in wrong floor the setup i don't understand what happened i don't understand how this is like the the premium version of that that one's better and this one's seven dollars and that one's free i just it doesn't it doesn't make any sense in my head like yeah this one's twice as long but that double length is mostly made up of like listen listen outside the door and uh, wait for the red thing to go away <laughs> I think the first half of the game is like alright and if the second half of the game was like the first half then it would be alright but I think the second half really drags the game down so yeah overall just not really my thing I guess but uh, seeing more and more of these days indie horror games that are not my thing. So, I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Let me know what you thought about From the Darkness, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.